New York represent gold chains, women, dollar bills. Yo, munching on these mini weeds. Mr. Mess walks in reppin' Nelson gear, and you gotta know that game time's near. After he's finished telling one of his stories, he gets down to business right after his story. He tries to teach us how our muscle contracts, but at first we're all like, yo, yo that's, that's whack. whack. So we wrote this rhyme, no need to get weary. Just have a listen, learn to start in filament theory. Yo, it was 1954, and some guys were thinking, what happens to a muscle when it's shrinking? They did some tests, and here's what they found, that the process needs proteins and energy abound. abound. This happens deep within the muscle, and is what allows you to hustle. hustle. Next, let's look at the players involved, and how this common function is solved. I'd like to introduce you to some of my friends. Who are needed here from start to end? There's calcium, ions, actin, myosin, but don't forget troponin and tropomyosin. Adenosine triphosphate is important to me, but don't you worry, call him ATP. ATP. We'll now learn the steps of this function and how our new friends all work in conjunction. Step one is where calcium ions come in, and they trigger the binding sites on actin. Step two is when myosin and actin bind together, but you know that they won't stay like this forever. Step three is known as the power stroke. Myosin pulls the actin, this, this isn't, isn't a, a joke. joke. Step four needs more ATP. It binds to the myosin providing energy. Then the myosin and actin break apart, but very soon this will again restart. Step 5 is when ATP is hydrolyzed into energy from myosin. No, no surprise. surprise! Step 6 moves calcium ions back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And nothing relevant rhymes with sarcoplasmic reticulum. And that wraps up the starting filament theory. I now hope it doesn't sound so scary. So when you get confused, just remember this rhyme and you'll remember muscle contractions in, in no time! time.